Activity 3 is your hemocytometry. Your hemo meaning blood, cyto meaning cell, metry meaning to count or to measure. <coughs> Excuse me. Hemocytometry. Now, your hemocytometry refers to the enumeration of blood cells in the given sample of a patient's blood. So, class, uh, if you're thinking that if you're gonna do your hemo uh, cell counting, yung tipong kukuha ka ng slide, alagyan mo ng blood, then sisilipin mo sa microscope, it's not like that. Instead, you're going to use a device called your hemocytometer. Now, your hemocytometer was originally designed for the counting of blood cells and was invented by Dougie Charles Malasses. Plus, I'll be uploading this PowerPoint sa discussion folder nyo sa lab course, ha? So, you, you may take notes if you like, but if not, you can use this naman. So, class, as the generations go by, this is now your counting chamber. Your counting chamber class is now called the improved, improved new power. So, your improved new power class is your newest or uh, modern counting chamber. Now, si hemocytometry class as a principle. The principle of hemocytometry states that a small measured quantity of blood is diluted with the fluid. Yung fluid na yon prevents coagulation, preserves the cell type to be counted, and eliminates other subtypes. Diluted blood is placed in a counting chamber and the number of cells in a known volume is counted with a microscope. So class again, just to, just to clarify, um, sa hemocytometry, sa hemocytometry, um, we will be diluting, diluting your blood with a diluting fluid. Now, si diluting fluid new class, ang ginagawa niya, pinipreserve niya yung cell type, tapos ini-eliminate niya yung other cell types. Plus, do you know the way on how the diluting fluid eliminates the other cell types? Alam niyo ba kung paano? Does anyone have an idea? Kaya ko kayang flow. Starts with the letter L. Okay, very good, Ms. Torres. Or they lies, nalalies, or pinupotok, sumasapog. So, let's say, class, si WBC diluting fluid nyo, ano yung mga cells na pwede nang ilies? What do you think? Kasi, oh, preserves the cell type to be counted. So, from that statement, you can derive na si WBC yung pinipreserve nyo. So, ano yung mga nilalies na class na cells? So, RPC, okay, what else? So, sorry, from RPC, isa pa. Platelets, okay. Si RPC and platelets are lights. Para pag sinilip nyo sa microscope, ang may iwan lang is yung tablets. Okay? Eliminates other cell types. Okay. So, class, ito si hemocytometer nyo, yung improved new power. Now, pag sinilip mo yan on a side view, lalagyan niya ng cover slip, and ito itura niya on a side view. You have your cover glass sa top, then meron siyang cover glass port. Parang maliit na dalawang poste yan. Then, sa middle niyan, class, dito. dito. Tingnan mo side view, ito siya. Ito sa middle class, meron andyan yung counting chamber. The depth of the counting chamber is 0.1 millimeter. 0.1 millimeter. Now, kapag sinilip mo siya sa microscope, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this. Then, um, kapag nilagay mo na yung blood diluted sa with the blood with the diluted fluid, it should fill this entire cup. Hindi pwede yung katulad nito, class, na overfill. Tingnan nyo, umaano na yung umaano sa periphery. Sumusobra or hindi rin pwede yung ganito na kulang may space na natira and merong bubbles so bawal yun so I will discuss that tomorrow tomorrow class um, I will show you a video on how to charge yung paglagay ng diluted blood
Then, by the way, Chris, tomorrow you will have your quiz on hemocytomy. Ang coverage niya is all about calculations. Puro kayo calculations on WBC calculation. This is very easy. Pupusin natin yung 2 hours. Okay, let's proceed now. Now, class, in your hemocytometry, aside from your hemocytometer, you will be using what we call the Toma pipettes. So, nakagamit naman na kayo ng pipettes, di ba, class? So, sa Toma pipettes, we have two types. We have your RBC and WBC pipette. So, si WBC pipette, class, simulan natin, as a white bead. Sir, saan ba nakikita yung white bead? Here's your white bead. Parang maliit siya na ceramic na kulay po din. Nandun siya. Well, here for RBC pipette, meron siyang red bead. And then, meron siyang mga mark calibration. So, usually, class, yung na-encounter nyo na pipette, may mga 1 ml, or 5 ml to, or 10 ml, ganun. Or may 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ganyan, and so on. Ganito rin dito, class. But the difference is, sa WPC pipette niya, class, it is, it is marked with a major calibration of 0 0.5, 1.0, and 11. So, hanapin natin yung 0.5, class, in WPC. So, ito yung 0.5 niya, class. So, from there, kita nyo class sa sagit na siya. You can presume that this is your 0.4, your 0.3, your 0.2, and your 0.1. Well, if you go higher, this is your 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0.9, and then you got your end calibration, which is 1.0. Okay? Well, for your RBC pipette naman class, and then meron din siyang 11. So, 11 class na calibration mark. So, that then for the RBC pipette class, same lang din, 0 0.5, 1.0, pero nag-iba lang sa tulog, naging 1.0. Okay? Um, I'll discuss that later sa division. <coughs> then, the size of bulb sa WBC is smaller. So, mas maliit siya. If you notice, compared mo sa picture, mas malapad yung bulb, larger yung bulb ng RBC pipette. Now, si WBC pipette class, yung lumen niya is larger. When you say lumen class, then, yung entrance, yung entrance kung saan pumapasok. So, mas larger siya, yung pore, so mas mabilis papasok yung blood pag nag-pipe. Or pag inano mo siya, uh, inaspirate mo siya. And si RBC pipette class is um, narrower or smaller yung lumen. Tapos mas mabagal yung pag-upload mo, no? pag, ano, pag aspirate mo. Then, class, gumagamit, meron tong kasama, when you buy this, this it comes with a mouthpiece. Mouthpiece, um, again, pag white in colors, WPC siya. Pero we do not use mouthpiece anymore, class. Ha? We do not recommend the use of mouthpiece kasi we don't want mouth pipeting. Ayaw natin mapunta yung dugo sa bibig natin. We don't do that. Then, dilution can be done 10 or 20 times kapag sa WPC pipette and 100 to 200 times pag RBC pipette. So again, I'll discuss that on the next slide. The next coming slides. Now, here are the materials used in your hemocytometer. So we have yung mga Toma pipettes, you know? And then let's focus na on the physical appearance class, yung appearance under the microscope, yung visual appearance. Na. Class, remember this type of squares. Large, intermediate, intermediate, and small squares. Intermediate or medium squares na. Your hemocytometer class, your hemocytometer has nine, nine large squares. If nakapaglaro na kayo class ng game na, ano, have you seen yung ganitong game na, how many squares is in this box? Parang ganun, nakapaglaro na kayo ng ganyan. O ganito rin dito. Now, your hemocytometer class has nine large squares. Sir, sa ating large squares dyan? Here is your large squares class. This is your large square number one. Your number two. Your number three. Four. Five. And six. And seven. And eight. And 
MDMS, nuggets. Nakita niyo kung saan yung mga large squares. Okay, nuggets. Alright. Class, anong tatandaan niyo sa nine large squares na yan? Remember, class, the four, the four corner, four corner, four corner squares are used four corner large squares are used for your WBC counting WBC counting so yung apat na sulok daw class, apat na sulok so yung apat na sulok na yung class is this this is your upper left upper left large corner large square upper right large square corner lower left large square corner and lower right large square per, per corner okay okay na gets class ulitin ko si hemocytometer class has nine large squares sa nine large squares na yon yung four corner squares ang gagamitin niyo for the WBC counting okay then another thing to remember the central the central large square is the one you will be using in your RBC counting okay okay nalitin ko may nine large squares si hemocytometer yung four corner large squares niya yun yung gagamitin mo for WBC count si central large square will be used for your RBC count. Na gets? Na gets class? Okay. <clears throat> now let's proceed naman to your intermediate squares. Okay? Si intermediate news class, let's focus lang dun sa four corner squares nyo. Si four, four corner square, large squares nyo, yung apat na malaki, four large corner squares nyo, has 16 intermediate 16 intermediate squares Sir, saan yung intermediate squares na yun? Ito sila 1 2 3 and 4 Again Meron kayong 9 large squares sa mo sa ito Yung 4 corner squares that is used for your WBC counting the central large square is used for your RBC counting. Now, yung four large squares nyo, corner large squares, has 16. 16 intermediate squares. Now, class, ang tanong ko sa inyo, kung nai-gets nyo, ilan ang total intermediate squares na gagamitin nyo for the WBC counting? Ilan? How many intermediate squares are you going to use in your WBC counting? You can tell me. Can you type in the public chat? How many intermediate squares are you going to use for your for your WBC count? Very good. It's 64. Back at 64. Because one large corner square is 16. Eh, apat sila. You multiply 16 by 4, you get 64. <laughs> you get 64 class. Okay? You get? Alright. Now, let's proceed with the central square. Class, ito lang yung naiba. Your central large square, which is used for your WBC count, has 25, 25 intermediate squares. Okay? So, sir, saan yung intermediate squares na sinasabi mo? Ito siya. 1, 2, 4, 5. Then, meron siyang 1, 2, or 5. So 5 times 25, you get 25 intermediate 25 intermediate squares. Okay? 
Then, class, sabi ko sa kanina, meron kayong tatlong squares. You have your small, small squares. Sa nakikita si small squares sa central, sa central, uh, large square lang. Each intermediate square found in your central large square has 16. Meron siyang 16 small squares. Gets? Itin ko kasa, yung central large square nyo, meron siyang 25 intermediate squares. Sa isang intermediate squares ng 25 na yun, merong 16. Okay? Gets? Okay. Ang rule class sa RBC counting, you will only count the central and the corner. The central and the corner intermediate squares for the RBC. Okay? Itindo ka sa, the rule when counting for RBC count, you will only count the central and the four corner intermediate squares. May question, class. Ilan, ilang small squares ang bibilangin nyo kapag mag-RBC count? Again, sa isang intermediate square class, mayroong, 20, mayroong 16 na small squares. Tapos, lima lang na intermediate squares yung ano nyo. So, what's ilan? Ilang small squares ang bibilangin nyo for your RBC count? No. Not 400. Not 400 plus. Ay, wait. Wait. Yes, it's 80. It's 80. Bakit naging 80? Because you're only counting 5 intermediate squares. Again, sa isang intermediate squares ng central, merong 16 small squares. Naano nyo? Nag-gets nyo? Naano nyo na? Okay, ulitin natin class ha from the top. Your hemocytometer has nine large squares. Uh, the four corner large squares is used for your WBC count. Ilan ang intermediate squares class ni WBC count sa kada ano? Sa large corner squares? Ilan ang intermediate? How many intermediate squares are found in your large squares for the corner large squares? 16. Thus, ilang intermediate squares ang bibilangin nyo for your WBC count? Kasakit ito yung ulo ni Staras. Ang nakawak ito sa ulo. 64. Because 16 times 4 is 64. Okay? Medyo nakakalito pa class. Kaya ihimay-himayin natin. We will start with WBC. Pero in-explain ko lang sa inyo yung RBC. Now, yung central large square nyo class, that is where your RBC count is done. Your central large square class has 25, 25 intermediate squares. So compared kay WBC na large corner, 16 sila kada ano. While your ano has 25. Now, Si 25 intermediate square, each intermediate square has 16, 16 small squares. You can write this down para mas madalikan. 16 small squares. Now, ang gagamitin nyo, the intermediate squares that you will be using in counting RBC are the four corners, apat na corners, and the central. The central the central intermediate square. Okay? And each intermediate square has 16 smaller squares. So, na-notice nyo, class, ang may smaller square lang na ginagamit is yung CRBC. Kapag kay WBC, you stop at the intermediate squares. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Kaya niyan. Sige. Let's proceed na. I-discuss ko pa yan further class tomorrow uh, after, the, after the class. Okay. Focusing the microscope. Class, if you want to see the general formation of your hemocytometer, you're just going to use the normal objective. 
Pero kapag magda-WC WC count ka, you will use your LPA. Then for RBC count, you will use your HP. If you still remember your microscope, walang kamatay ang microscope. Mapit yung ulo nyo para kayo nag- ano, nag-algebra ulit. Alright. Discounting rule class, I will discuss this tomorrow na. Kasi baka sumakit ka ito. Okay. Let's go to your Toma Pipet class. So again, earlier, we have your two types of Toma Pipet, the WBC and the RBC Toma Pipet. Now, your WBC Toma Pipet class, it has your calibrations. Now, the calibrations 11 is to 1 is your mixing chamber. So, saan yung mixing chamber? Your mixing chamber is from 11 to 1. It includes your bulk. Diyan mo minimix si diluting fluid at si blood. Then we have your 1 to point 0.1 which is the stem. This is where your blood and diluting fluid goes by, passes through. Your WCC Toma Pipet capacity has a capacity of 1 is to 10 to 1 is to 100. So I will discuss that in the computation. Alright class, the rules in WBC counting, aspirate blood until the 0.5 mark. So sir, mag-aspirate ka ng blood until dito sa mark na to. Then you're going to aspirate diluent until the 11th mark. So nandito class, 11th mark. Okay. And then apply the cover slip into the counting chamber, slowly dispense the diluted blood. I'll show you a video of this tomorrow. Set the microscope at LPO and count the four large corner squares. Each large corner square has 16 intermediate squares. A total of 64 intermediate squares are counted. Let's proceed. Okay, we have your WBC counting computation. Class, your WBC count is equal to the number of WBC that was counted times your depth correction factor times your dilution correction factor divided by the area correction factor. Sir, ano ba yung depth correction factor? Ano ba yung dilution correction factor? Sir, ano ba yung area correction factor? Now, you have to remember this class. Your area correction factor is always equal to the number of large squares counted. So if, as I, if you recall, as I earlier discussed, you will only be counting the four large corner squares. So it is normally, your area correction factor is normally four. Next class, your area correction factor is your large squares na ginamit nyo sa pagbina. Gets? Then, your dilution factor is 10. Class 10, that is constant. Hindi yan nagpapag. Divided by the point where the blood is aspirated. Class, normally, na-aspirate siya sa 0.5. So, if you divide 10 divided by 0.5, you get Okay. Then your depth correction factor is always 10. It's in class. Huh? So ang nagbabago lang itong dalawa, yung area correction and yung dilution factor. For example class, blood was drawn at 0.5 mark and diluent to 101 mark. Class, pag nakita niyo itong statement na to, just ignore this. This is just required to complete the statement. Okay? Focus lang kayo sa blood was thrown at 0.5 mark. Then, four large squares were counted. 200 WBC cells were counted. Now, the technique class on how to do this is you have to no take note yung given nyo. 
first you take note of your area correction factor. Ilang large squares ba yun? Four large squares. Sir, paano yung dilution factor? Saan rin yung blood? Sa 0.5 mark. So you divide 10 divided by 0.5, you get 20. Ilan ba yung WBC counted? You have 200 WBCs were counted. So your computation is 200 WBC counted times your depth, which is always 10 times your dilution factor, which is 20, divided by ACF is 4. You get 10,000. Sir, ano yung cubic mm na yan? Class, this is your unit. This is your unit. This is under the conventional unit class. We have two types of unit. Your SI and your conventional. So your conventional unit is cubic mm. Now, if you want to see, if you're required to have the SI unit, you will just multiply, you will just multiply the conventional by 0 0.001. So we have your 10,000 times 0 0.001, you get 10. So ano tong times 10 raised to the 9 per liter? That is your unit. That is your unit for your SI. So 10 times 10 raised to the 9 per liter. I get class. Okay, if nalilito pa, let's proceed to the next problem. Okay, blood was drawn until the one mark. Tapos, nangyayari ito depending on the diagnosis of the patient. Normally, it is only until the 0.5. But may mga cases wherein the medtech is forced to adjust where it is drawn the blood. So ito, this, in this case, blood was drawn until the 1 mark, 1.0 mark. The went until 11. Again, ignore nyo to. Wala kang pake dyan. Hindi ko yan kailangan sa computation. Then you take note of your 8 large squares. This is your ACF. So 8 large squares were counted and 398 WBCs were counted. So again, you apply the formula. WBC count times step correction factor times dilution correction factor divided by your ACF. So take note again, lista nyo yung given. Your given WBC count is 398. Depth correction factor is 10. Always 10 yan class, hindi yan magbabago. Your dilution correction factor, this is the one that varies. The reason for that is you're going to divide 10, 10 divided by where the mark. So in case sa situation na to, na draw siya sa 1. So 10 divided by 1, get 10 as your dilution factor. So let's apply. And then your area correction factor, this also changes. Sa case na to, in case sa, uh, instead of the 4 normal large corner squares, ang ginamit niya, 8 large squares. So we have 398, 398 times 10, which is your depth correction factor. Again, times 10, which is your dilution correction factor, you get 39,800. Then you divide that by your area correction factor, you get, which is 8 you get 4,975 cubic mm, which is the conventional unit. You will always need that unit. Kasi huwag nyo kakalimutan. Then, if you're going to convert that into, into your SI, you just multiply it by 0 0.001, you get 4.97 Five. Sir, bakit 4.98 yung nakalagay dyan? Now, the reason for that class is whenever the decimal place is 3, you stick with two decimal places only. Who here can tell me the rules in rounding up? Kailan kayo nag-round up or nag-retain lang? Can tell me. Kailan kayo nag-round up? Five to nine, 
to 9 roundup. Very good. So 5 to 9 roundup. So class kung ito, ang result niya is 4.974. Then you're just gonna have to stay it at 2 digits. You retain. Kasi this is not above 5. Pero katulad sa case nito, 5 yung third decimal case. You have to round up. Kaya siya naging 4.98. Then again, don't forget the unit times 10 raised to the 9 per unit. Okay? Naintindihan ba class? It's Alright, let's have your computation. Now, the first two people, the first